Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Nature's Beauty. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. In today's episode, I'd like to overhaul the church and turn this into something a lot better looking. Right now, it's basically just kind of this big blob of cobblestone, and uh, that's not very good. So we'll have to kind of mess with this. I think I also need to get rid of this house over here as well to kind of clear space um for where this church is gonna be so my idea is essentially to take the church and keep the tower i really want to keep the tower because i want you to be able to look at the church once it's all said and done and still see oh this was actually a vanilla generated church at one point and it's just been kind of overhauled and changed and, and made into something uh, a lot cooler so that's kind of the plan. As I said, first thing I need to do is get this house right here torn down to kind of make space. So let me get that done and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back. Got the church all taken care of. Everything's looking good. Um, so, or the church, the house all taken care of. And then I've basically carved away everything from the church that isn't the tower itself. So the next thing to do, I think, is I want to reposition the tower. I'm basically going to move the tower because I want the church to go out in a different direction. So we're just going to kind of make like a little semi-circle here. I think if we build it like right here, this will be good. Yeah, because then it'll be one off the path. And you can see that the tower is basically just like a 3-3-3-3 three, 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 sort of a circle shape like this. Let's grab our builder's wand, kind of build our way up, and uh, I'm going to get rid of that so that it doesn't mess with the builder's wand stuff. And then we'll just kind of go up a ways. One more. Uh, let's get rid of that. And then we just put our corner bits in like so. And we'll just kind of build it up, put our little triangles on top like that there we go so that should essentially be the idea then we need to get our little like uh sticky outie blocks going up uh five there we go and there there and there and i think that's it right that's all of them yeah, I think I got them all. Okay, so then we'll tear out our windows. Pretty straightforward, like so. Uh, just pillar up a little ways, and we need windows there. Uh, let's actually just kind of get over here. Might as well do the ones on this side as well. Grab some panes, fill those in. Same there. And I think that's... Are there windows in the corners on the other sides there as well? I think there are. But we can probably worry about that at a later time. Um, so also, I just want to be clear. Like, when this is all done, we're going to have this cobblestone. Uh, but it's not going to be just cobblestone. We're going to do kind of a, a variation of different blocks once everything's all finished up. Um, so it's not just going to be this giant mess of cobblestone, but I want to kind of start with a cobblestone base and then we can kind of go from there. So next thing I need to do is tear down the rest of this tower. Now that the tower has been moved, I just need to kind of finish filling in some floors and stuff like that. Tear down the other tower and then I'll be back. Alrighty guys, we're back. It's done. I have torn down the other tower. It's looking fine. So now I think it is time to begin putting in kind of the walls of the church and kind of laying everything out, getting everything kind of set up the way that we want it to be, sort of uh, making a a framework, if you will, or like a, a an outline, you could say. So I think uh, let's kind of clear a bunch of this junk out of our inventory. Let's grab our chisel. And let's just see here. What are our options? I actually like that. That'll be... I think that'll make a really nice texture for uh, for church walls. Let's maybe go out like three from the edge there. 
So one. Two. Uh, what? Villager. <laughs> There's a villager in my way. He's he's blocking me from placing the block. Okay, uh, villager, please, please, villager, leave, go, go away. Just yeah, get out of my way. <laughs> Stupid villager. Ah, <laughs> oh, figures. All right, there we go. So let's go like about there, and then I think we'll go. Uh, let's go out a ways. Maybe like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it'd be like a total of what five eleven by thirteen? Yeah, let's bring this out just a little bit more. Let's go like eleven by fifteen, I think, instead. I think that'll be a little bit better. Okay, so now we don't want to have just a flat wall of nothing. We want to kind of break up that texture a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe we want to use... Hmm. Let's go see what options we have. I was originally thinking spruce, but then I kind of remembered spruce logs are going to be round. And that might look a little funky. I like the fact that, uh, that logs in this pack are round, or at least some of them. But I wish it was consistent, because some logs are round and some of them aren't. Like, if we look at ironwood, ironwood is round, but some of the other ones are not round. I don't know. I just wish it was consistent across everything. But either way, um, uh, okay, that one's strange. Let's just see. That's round as well. Let's bring maybe the Murray pine wood and then maybe some of this incense cedar, which is uh, a full block. It's not rounded off. And let's try a couple of these out and just kind of we'll see what we like. I can always make more incense cedar uh, or Murray pine wood. I can make I, I can make more of them. I've got the saplings if I want more of this particular type of wood. But let's try a couple out here and just kind of see which one goes better with the the uh, the chiseled oak planks. So. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. We'll try the pine. Yeah, definitely the uh definitely the incense cedar, for sure. Like that's not it's not even a competition. That those two colors go very well together, I think. So now we got to figure out kind of our window spacing. If we do hmm I want windows, but I want them kind of spaced out in a way that makes sense. Maybe like, ah, man, that's not going to work either. Um, I suppose we could. Let me think for a minute. Maybe what we could do is move this and then go here. That would give us a three wide window, right? And then uh, right uh, here, we would do that. And then we could extend and basically make this one more window section. I don't know. I don't really like that either. Maybe we do. Maybe we do it this way. Go one, two, three, four. Go here. And then one, two, three, four, and here. And then we'd have evenly distributed windows. I think that's what I want to do. So we'll have three windows on the side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it that way. I like that. That'll be better. Uh, okay. So then we'll kind of bring that across. We'll put in our incense cedar to kind of line everything up the way that we want to. So that's... Oh, come back, you. There we go. Um, another one there. There we go. And then that'll be kind of the area of our church. And then I think the other thing that we want to do is just to add, like, a little bit of something on this side. Let's maybe kind of bring this out... 
Just a tiny bit. Just so this isn't like a completely flat wall. Because that's not going to look good. So maybe we'll do something kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that could work. That's not bad at all. Okay, so now we need to want we want to start building this up. So let's go um, one, two, and let's figure out how tall we want our windows to be here. Maybe like that. Um, I think I want that to be even taller, honestly. Yeah, I think I want that to be taller than it is right now. Let's go up a bit more. And then, ooh. I think we're gonna have to make another change with the tower here. I think because the tower is gonna be too short, it's gonna look silly. We need to bring this up higher. Like, we need to bring the tower up higher, because I like the tall windows like that. But the thing is, if we don't increase the height of the tower, we're going to have, like, the roof coming up to basically the top of the tower, like this, and that's just going to look kind of ridiculous. So I suppose what we could do here, let's tear this stuff down, and then we could go and basically just add another level to the tower. Just duplicate the same pattern as before, but just add an extra level. And how many blocks is one level? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. Then we go one, two, three, four, and there. Put our corners on like so. Put our top on like so. There we go. And then we'll just throw another floor in here just so you can't like accidentally fall down. Make it a little easier once we're putting our windows and stuff like that in. And I think that'll look a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, height-wise, that'll look, that'll look uh, much better. Like, obviously the tower is a lot taller than it was. But I think that makes a lot more sense. Because the roof isn't going to be, you know, as tall as the tower is. The peak of the roof. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. Okay, awesome. So now... Let me get some more work done here, guys. I've got a few things I need to do. I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. I've got the walls of the church all built up and looking good. Um, got kind of the roof framed out a bit. I still need to knock out the space for the windows. And I have kind of a cool plan for this. I, I think this is going to be kind of cool. So we figured out how tall we want our windows to be. And I thought it would be really cool if we had kind of like arched windows, if that makes any sense. But the thing is, I want to use glass panes. So uh, allow me to demonstrate here. When I say arched windows, um, we just make... A uh, little bit of... We'll just use spruce, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Let's make a couple of... Those guys. And then, like so. There we go. So what I mean is I want to have the stairs kind of like that, right? So you have this kind of arched shape. The problem is, glass panes will not connect to those, and you can't put glass panes in there, so you'll end up with this weird kind of, like, little gap right up here that looks <laughs> a little strange, like it'll be kind of sticking out. So what we can do, because this is modded Minecraft, using the magic of uh, a certain mod that we all love very much, we can essentially make our own. We can use chisels and bits to do this. So my thinking is... Um... How how can I demonstrate this? What's the best way to do this, actually? That's a good question. Uh, let's put 
Uh, axe, please. There we go. Let's maybe go here, right? So we got kind of this quarter of the block. And... Uh, grab our chisel. Grab our bit bag. And... Oh, wrong region. Let's actually... Real quick. Let me, uh... Let me reposition this a little bit. There we go. Let's do it that way. So if we go here... And we want to go drawn region. And we want to go from that pixel right there to right uh, there, right? Yeah, right there. So uh, essentially, we'll have uh, a quarter of a block using chisels and bits. And I think that's eight. It is. Then we can get rid of this and probably just grab a glass block and go same material, get rid of that. There we go. Grab our chisels uh, or our, our bits for glass, go draw in region. And uh, let's just real quick get that out. Uh, why did that make a different sound? Whatever. Either way. Um, so, yeah, we'll go right there. And then to up there. There we go. And then we essentially have a glass pane and a stair block that are together and working. So, like, this can be the top of our windows. And it will actually work out. And we can fill that little glass. It'll still look a little weird because the glass panes in the uh, in the chiseled block, <clears throat> excuse me, and the chisels and bits block uh, do not connect to the actual glass panes with the connected textures. Uh, but it'll still look fine, and we won't have just air there. Uh, so let's get rid of this. Oh, those are panes. Those can't be done away with. Uh, break those. There we go. And then let's put. Oh. I see. I get it. I understand what happened a minute ago. Okay, there we go. Put that back. <laughs> We're good. Uh, so anyway, grab um, that. And we'll just make a couple of those. Grab our thingy. And there we go. We just do that. And that totally works. And then we've got our super fantastic windows. And we can make those all the way around the whole thing. And it should work out pretty well. So let me get that done, guys. I'll be back with you in just a minute. Alrighty, guys. I'm back. It's done. We got the windows all in place. So next thing to do is the roof. We're going to take some stone brick. And then we're going to take some of this copper from Not Enough Roofs. And I want to use uh, copper stone brick roofs. I, I think this will actually look pretty interesting. Um, from a color perspective, I think the copper will go really well here. Uh, and it should look pretty good. So let's just kind of get some of this stuff in here. And that looks fairly okay, I think. Let's just make some stone brick stairs so we can go up there. And I'm not going to be able to reach that one from down here. Let's just pillar up a little ways. There we go. And then we just grab our copper bits and go like so. And I think that looks pretty good. And then we just need to go here and there. And then this will be the, the peak of the roof. Okay, cool. So now, uh, I think in order to kind of get the full effect, I'm probably going to have to build the whole thing across. I don't think this will... Yeah, I didn't think that would work. It'll... <laughs> It messes up the direction because the builder's wand is based essentially on the direction that you're facing when it comes to stairs, and it either will work or it won't. You, you have to get lucky and be facing a specific direction, so we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, but in order to get kind of the, the full effect here and, and get a good idea of how this is actually going to look and feel, once it's all said and done, uh, we need to get at least one side of the roof done together here. Just kind of get those in. And can I reach? 
Uh, that one messed up. Come back. Probably easier to just do like one row at a time, honestly. Let's we'll kind of bring that bit over. And now we can... Dang it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I don't suppose we'll be able to finish this before it's dark and spawning nasty things, will we? Because I would really like it to not spawn nasty things. It is definitely dark enough to spawn things right now, though. So let's just finish this really, really quick. There. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Run back to the house as fast as we can go. Run, 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 run. You can do it. Run faster. Take a nap. We'll be okay. It's going to be fine. And there we go. All right. Let's go take a look and see how this looks for us. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's kind of a nice look. It goes really well with the wood. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that. I think it looks really good with the wood. I think we'll stick with that. Uh, let me get rid of this pillar here. There we go. So now I need to do the other side, and I need to do this little bit that kind of sticks out right here. So let me get that bit done. I'll do it off camera, and I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. Alrighty, guys, I am back. I've got the roof all done, I believe. Let's just see. Did I miss anything? I think that's all good. Just got to get a couple of these little guys underneath there. There we go. And we got to do the peak at the very, very, very top of the roof. But other than that, I think it's good. So let me just kind of get rid of this pillar here. Uh, actually... <laughs> That was stupid of me. We, need to, we actually need to go right back up. I don't know why. Uh, either way, whatever. So let's just fill this part in with stone brick. Like so. And then ooh, am I going to have enough copper ingots to do this? It's going to be really close. I hope so. Maybe, please. We have just enough. We have <laughs> we have one left. We are good to go. Whew, okay. I was a little worried there for a minute. Okay, awesome. So that's looking good. Uh, so now, I think we have basically the, the outside of the church done. The tower still needs to be cleaned up a bit. We need to add some texture variation and stuff like that. Uh, and obviously, we still need to do the inside of the church as far as interior goes, because right now it's just like grass floor, but I'm happy with the way that the roof looks. Uh, the tower, as I said, we need to still work on. Uh, but overall, I think it's pretty good. We, I mean, interior, I think we'll probably just save this for next episode. This grass floor has to go. Uh, we got to decorate all this and make it look good. So there's still some work left to do, but I think we'll save it for the next one, because unfortunately, guys, I am out of time for this one. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.